Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's Shy Girl Princess Hedgen. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, besties. Happy New Year's. I definitely missed you. Happy New Year's and I appreciate you. And today, we're going to be doing my everyday makeup. Even though I don't wear makeup every day, some type of makeup look that I usually do when I'm going out. So, let's get right into the video without wasting no time. Make sure y'all go ahead and follow if y'all haven't followed already. And subscribe if y'all haven't subscribed. And make sure y'all comment down below other videos y'all would like to see next. I do have also other videos already listed that suggest this. I will also do those videos. Follow me on all my social media. Make sure y'all subscribe. And let's get right into the videos. Okay, besties? Let's get right into the video. First, I just want to say... That my scarf is from Nana's Boutique. Go ahead and purchase your scarf from Nana's Boutique. Most of their scarves are $7. The highest is $10. Go ahead and grab those because you don't want to miss anything. Go ahead and follow Nana's Boutique. Make sure you purchase their hijab from them. This hijab is from them. I will also show another hijab that's from Nana's Boutique once I finish my everyday makeup look. Even though I don't wear makeup every day, okay? Let's get right into the video, guys. So first, make sure y'all moisturize your lip before and prep your skin, okay guys? So I'm going to go ahead with Aquaphora for the lips. I'm just going to moisturize, you know, not too much, nothing, you know, something like. So if you see me looking up, it's also because I have like my mirror facing up, like behind the camera. So if you see me looking up and I look into the camera, that's why. And then I'm going to also go ahead with Aquaphora and this is for my face. I'm just going to use this to moisturize my face. And I'm not really going to put too much. I'm just going to put like a little bit on the areas that I think are needed. And like I said, I'm not going to use too much. This is just to prep my skin. But I am not going to use too much, guys. Okay. I use the, prim the milk primer from Sephora when I'm going out or it's night. I use that. Other than that, I just apply uh, this Aquaphora. And it definitely does prep my skin and it does not leave my skin to break or anything. Which is a plus. Alright guys. So today I'm going to be using JVS Plate. So these are the foundations that I'm going to be using. They are from JVS Plate. I'm going to be mixing two of these foundations. Complexion because for some reason this one is a little too dark and this one is too light. So I'm going to be mixing these two to get them. And this is matte 340. The number of the foundation is 340. And the number for this one is 540. So this one is a, the 540 is very light, and the 340 it's the it's a little too dark. I did have like a good one that was good for me, and that one was Ethiopia 400. This one is almost done, so I'm not gonna use this one. But this is the one that I usually use for my complexion, and it definitely you know give me what it needs to give, right? I do not need to add nothing else to it. It leaves my skin perfect, and it's the right skin tone for my skin. So that's the Ethiopia 400s that I do have to reorder these, which I will do. Add and mix. So I'm gonna mix it on my on right here on the back of my hand right here. And the reason why I do that is to get like a better see. This is the tone that it gives me, and that's too. I don't even think I need this much, but and then I'm just gonna pour the other one over there, and I'm just gonna mix it with this brush. I'm gonna use this brush to mix it. Like, I'm literally only mixing a little bit, see, on my hand. Because I don't really want to make it look like I have makeup. This is like a no makeup look. So, I'm just going to try to add, like, some of the foundation on the places that I think I need. So. So, let's blend that in. So, I'm just going to blend this in. Once I need more, I will add more. But for now, I'm just going to blend that in. So when I'm blending it in, I'm not trying to bring it all the way like under my eyes because it does crease when you have too much product under your eyes. It makes it like creasy. It gives the creasy look under the eye. So right now I'm definitely not trying to, you know, I'm trying to avoid that. So. So that's a little too light. So I'm just going to go in with the black the little dark shade i'm just gonna add a little bit and just blend because this is supposed to be a no makeup look okay guys so this is a no makeup look so i'm just gonna blend a little bit more So 
so make sure you get every corner okay guys make sure you get every corner Just a little bit more and that's it. If you see my hijab a little dirty, it's cause like this foundation on it. Just make sure everything is blended. So I'm done with the face. It looks flawless. I'm just gonna blend a little bit more. Okay. So I'm done with this right now. Now I'm gonna go with my 50 foundation and I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used to blend in the thing so I'm not using a lot of product. And I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit under my eye, not too much. And it's not directly like under my eyes. I definitely left some space because I don't want my under eyes to crease, okay guys? And I'm just gonna apply a little bit like here. And then like on my chin just a little bit you know not too much you don't need to go crazy All right this is my everyday look no makeup look and this is how I like it now I'm gonna go ahead and use the real technique brush and this is the this is a 300 I'm gonna go ahead and use this to blend and I'm using a small you know brush to blend instead of like using the same brush that I used to apply the makeup because I do want to get every area within my face and make sure like everything is blended in with the concealer and etc that's why I'm using this brush so I'm gonna spray the brush also and I'm just gonna wait like 30 seconds for that concealer to dry because I want like you know I want the concealer to be there and the reason why you apply the concealer with a brush instead of a beauty blender is because when you use the beauty blender, you are taking the product that you place. The beauty blender with the concealer, you're removing the concealer. You want to use the beauty blender once everything is processed and everything is fit and you just want to blend everything in. That's what a beauty blender is for, is to blend like everything together and make your face look flawless. So if you do want to make sure like you have like the bright under eyes, definitely go ahead and use this right here use a brush it could be any brush but i recommend using a small brush when you're doing under the eyes and stuff like that so let's continue all right guys so we're gonna start blending out the outer stuff and we're gonna leave the inner face last for last okay we're gonna leave the under eyes for last so i'm just blending this setting spray smells so good guys i'm just blending right now i'm just blending just blending everything to make sure that everything is blended so I'm just blending see so my nose is blended right now I'm not gonna blend the concealer just yet but all the product that I'm using is from Juvia's Play this is not sponsored guys <laughs> this is just the stuff that I'm using today so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of contour just a little bit not too much just a little bit see not too much just a little bit I'm gonna apply I really like the way my nose is already so I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the nose cuz I like my nose like I feel like my nose is fine so I'm just gonna apply a little bit everything else is fine and I'm just gonna apply like on right here the edge up the forehead just a little bit not too much so I'm gonna blend that part with the brush the same brush that I use for the foundation and the reason why you want to do that is because when you use less brushes and you try to use the same brushes you use it reduces the flashback so you get no flashback and it makes sure that all the products is blended so definitely you know try to avoid using a lot of brushes or a lot of product okay now I'm just going to blend the outer eye first. So I'm just blending this, guys, to my liking. You can blend this however you want to blend it. But I'm just blending it. So blending this in. Blend it in. Go back and forth with it to make sure that everything is blended. like you see the difference if you feel like you need to add more like i said earlier definitely go ahead 
and add more guys okay but I feel like I'm satisfied because this is a no makeup look so we don't need a lot of product so I'm okay with the concealer how it looks right now now I'm gonna use the same brush like I said earlier that I used for the foundation I'm just gonna blend that in I'm just gonna blend it in and I'm gonna bring it down I'm gonna try to make sure there's no separation with the concealer and like the contour so I'm just trying to bring everything down I'm very satisfied so and my face structure it's you know I'm very detailed into how I want my stuff to be so oh, yeah see when you use the same brush everything definitely blends in more so you don't need to worry about like getting a lot of brushes like it's good to have a lot of brushes but don't worry too much about buying a lot of brushes or like when applying like makeup to use a lot of brushes I'm gonna use this to bluff it out also and the reason why I'm using this is because like I said I'm okay with my nose the way it is so I don't really care about contour that much so using the same brush <laughs> doesn't bother me okay guys I'm satisfied with it I'm just gonna use a regular paper towel tissue I'm just gonna wipe my lip because I feel like some of the product did get on my lip so let's wipe these big juicy lip guys to go ahead and use this i don't really care about baking my face or like setting everything together but i'm just gonna go ahead and use this today i never use this like i said i never use this so this is the first time i'm opening it i definitely know a lot of people that use it and it's like drugstore friendly so it's not expensive i definitely got this from dollar general so go ahead and get it once it's good i'll let you know this is it definitely smells good, but this is the first time I'm using it. I have never used this before. Like I said, I do know people that used it. Me personally, I have never used it. So I'm only going to use that under my eyes because it, right now it looks like it makes things bright. And I'm just going to use that, but I'm going to not add no more product. But it definitely does smell good. It smell like baby powder or like baby oil, like baby shampoo. That's what it smells like. You don't need to add too much in my opinion. It's very, you know, affordable. So, that's how it looks. Me personally, I don't think I'll be using this because it's strong. It's too small for me. So, I definitely will not be, be using this after today, guys. It smells like baby oil. I know that smells good, but like it's too strong for me. Ugh. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead with my brush to blend everything in one more time, guys. To make sure there's no flashback. So, that's done. That's that. Definitely look like I have no makeup on. Now it's time for the blush. Lately, I have been doing a lot of blush. I don't know. I feel like it's winter and you need blush. Or I feel like you just need blush sometimes. Crazy. And I'm going to use Juvia's Plate. They definitely need to sponsor me at this point because this whole video, I use their product. So, make sure you tag them in this video. Okay, guys? So I'm going to go ahead and use this JVS plate right here. I'm going to use these three shades right here. I'm going to use this one, this one, and this one. All three. And then I'm going to dab it lightly. But I'm going to do both sides because I don't want it to be too pinky. So I always do this. Like I try to cross it over because I do like my nose to have blush. It's a habit, guys. I think it's also because it's like winter. So like I always want blush, okay? Okay, that's enough with the blush. This is supposed to be no makeup look, but what is a no makeup look without blush? So this is how it looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish the eyebrows. We're gonna do the eyebrows. I use this right here. I got this from the beauty supply. It comes with a brush, which is pretty. And it also has like this. This is light brown. That's the color. So, like I said, it's a no makeup look, so don't worry too much about the brows. As long as they look like they're there, that's what matters. Okay, that's it for the brows. Nothing too much, like I said. So, for the brows, that's it. Nothing too much, like I said. If they look good. This is a no makeup look. You don't need to worry about, like, making them look perfect or dark because it's a no makeup look, ladies. We are going to add a little bit of highlighter. We're going to use the same brush that we use for the blush just to make sure everything is blended in. So let's just use this fluffy brush. And like I said, we don't need too much of the highlight. 
so just a little bit of it I usually like to trace my lips oh yeah I'm using the same pencil eyebrow pencil that I use to outline my lip So, I'm not sure if I want to use this lip balm that I got from Bath & Beauty or if I want to use this red glossy lipstick from Sephora. I'll probably just use this Bath & Body lip balm. We'll see. I usually just go with the lip balm because it's so easy and nice and it leaves my lips juicy and nice and plumpy. So, we'll see what I want to use. So, let's just try to use both for this look and see. But like I said, I usually just go with a clear lip gloss because I'm not really a big fan of a lipstick or like lip gloss. I'm not a big fan. I usually use lip gloss. Use this real quick just to see how it looks. Like I said, it's very glossy. So you don't even need a lot. Maybe if I was going out to eat, I would wear it because it's like, you know, it's like red and it's like going out to eat type of look. To outline these lips again. okay so that's done that's done that's perfect i'm gonna go with the lip balm even though my lips is already pink the lip balm this is how we look in the inside it's peach so it does have like a you know, nice scent to it i did not use that before applying the lip balm my lips would have been clear but right now it looks like a little pink but this is the final look like I said, this is my everyday look and Morphe right here, okay? We're just going to set everything in place because why not? Like, and it smells so good. So I could literally use so much of it. So while this is melting into my skin, let's use this time to say that I do appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram if y'all have not followed. Make sure y'all so support. Also, make sure y'all subscribe, okay? So while that melt, I'm going to go ahead and find a scarf to wear it to change it up. Just so it can match my aesthetic look. So we'll be back, okay? I went ahead and chose this beautiful red scarf. Because I already had the lips like that color. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just blend it. But on a regular day, I would just wear a regular black scarf. Because black saved life. So this scarf is from Nana's Boutique. Go ahead and purchase. Like I said earlier, you might get a discount or two, alright? Go ahead and purchase and be like Princess sent you, okay? Send them a message on Instagram at Nana's Boutique. I will put the link in the description down below. And this is the end for this video. Make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe, hit that notification bell button so I can stay notified every time I post. And this is the final look. If y'all want a close-up, this is the close-up. Definitely no makeup. That's how it looks. The only thing that's throwing me off is this lipstick. But... That's nothing. So make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe. Okay, besties? Bye. See y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Mwah.